Have you ever wondered what really lies beneath everything you see, touch, and experience? Most of us think the universe is made up of objects, trees, planets, particles, atoms, but what if I told you there is something more fundamental, something that fills every corner of space, that controls the motion of particles and shaping of galaxies? It's not particle, it's not even matter, it's something deeper, it's something called a field. And understanding fields may be the key to unlock the deepest secret of reality itself. In the simplest terms, a field is something that assigns a value to every point in space and time. So, let's take this for example. If you measure the temperature in every part of a room, that is a scalar field, just a number at each location. If you measure the wind, which has both direction and speed, that is a vector field. But in physics, fields aren't just passive background data. Fields carry energy. They influence particles. In many cases, they are the particles. In modern physics, fields are real, physical thing. They can ripple, they can vibrate, they can even collide and interfere with each other. And every fundamental force like the gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and the weak nuclear forces is described using fields. The idea of a field began as a mystery. How can one object affect another across empty space? Isaac Newton said gravity acted instantly at a distance, but that didn't explain how. Then came Michael Friday. He imagined invisible line stretching out from electric charges and magnets, line of force that filled space. They were the earliest field line. Friday couldn't write the equations, but he had the vision. Then James Clark Maxwell took it further. He unified electricity and magnetism into one complete theory called electromagnetism. His equation reveals that changing electric field creates magnetic field and vice versa. The result, light itself is a wave in an electromagnetic field. Okay, so let's break it down. A charged particle creates an electric field. A moving charge creates a magnetic field. A massive object creates a gravitational field. So, all of these fields extend through space, even in a vacuum. So, if another particle enters the field, it feels a force. But here's the key idea. The field exists independently of the source. You can remove the charge, but the field effect can still remain, especially if they're traveling as waves. In classical physics, these fields can carry energy across space, like light and gravity. Einstein transformed our understanding of gravity. He said gravity isn't the force at all. It's the result of called space-time. Mass and energy cause space-time to bend and objects moving along this path in this curved geometry. That curvature, that shape of space, is the gravitational field. This is why light can bend around stars and why time sticks slower near the black holes. In Einstein's equation, the metric Tesla fluid replaced the old idea of gravity as a force. Gravity becomes geometry, a field that shapes everything. Now, we dive into the quantum world. And here is where things get really strange and fascinating. In quantum field theory, the universe isn't made of particles passing around in space. It is made of fields, and what we call particles like electrons, protons and quarks are just ripples or excitation in this underlying field. There is an electron field that exists everywhere. There is a photon field, a quark field and a gluon field all filling space. When a ripple forms in the electron field, we detect an electron. A ripple in the photon field, that's light. So everything from atoms to stars is just a complex dance of field vibrations. Now, get this, 
even empty space isn't really empty. In quantum field theory, even when no particles are present, these fields are still there and they are still active. Quantum uncertainty tells that field can't sit still. They fluctuate even in a perfect vacuum. This fluctuation gives a rise to virtual particles, particles that pops in and out of existence for a tiny fraction of a second. This quantum activity explains the Casimir effect, where two metal plates in the vacuum experience a force. Vacuum polarization, where field distorts near change particles. Even Hawking's radiation, where quantum field near the black holes create a real particles that slowly leak out of energy. Short, the vacuum is a life, a sea of chattering invisible fields. There is one field that changed physics forever, the Higgins field. Most fundamental particles like electrons should be massless, but they have mass because they can interact with the Higgins field, which permits all space. Think of it like a moving particle through molasses. The stronger it interacts with the field, the more mass it acquires. In 2012, scientists discovered the Higgins boson, a ripples in the Higgins field at CERN. This was a proof that Higgins field is real, and without it, there will be no atoms, no molecules, and no structure, and also no life. Fields aren't just abstract theories, they are the foundation to the modern world. So, your smartphone are powered by fields, lasers, Wi Fi's, X rays, and GPS all rely on electromagnetic fields. The MRI machines detect changes in magnetic field inside your body. Particle accelerators manipulate quantum fields to probe matter at its core. Even the future of quantum computing is about controlling quantum fields with precision. Einstein tried to unify the fields, both gravity and electromagnetism, into a single equation, but actually, he never succeeded. Today, physicists are still searching. We've unified the electromagnetism, weak and strong field in the standard model, but Gravity, it doesn't fit. It's still described by general relativity, not quantum field theory. So, scientists are working on ideas like the string theory, where particles are vibrations of tiny strings, and loop quantum gravity, where space-time itself is quantized. Quantum gravity and grand universe theories, all trying to find the ultimate field. So, oh, what lies in the deepest level? Maybe it's not field at all. Maybe fields emerge from something more even fundamental, like information, geometry, or something we can't yet imagine. So the question is, what are you? Not a clump of particles, not a collection of atoms. You are a ripple, a shimmery vibrating configuration of quantum fields. Every part of you, from your brain, to your breath, to your thoughts, is an intricate disturbance in a sea of field that stretch across the cosmos. The universe is not made up of things, it's made of fields. And fields, they are the invisible code of reality. So if you do like this, like and subscribe, it's actually a and let me know what you think down in the comment section. So, see you in the next video.